Hey, good afternoon everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me. This is my uh, first microfiltration setup and these are the first uh, sprouts that are coming off of it and the first uh, mushroom blooms. There was already uh, one mushroom blooming over here on the side <clears throat> that I already picked off because I want to test it and uh, see, see the contaminants, see if there's any in it present. Anyways, uh, I'm trying to focus in right here. So that's where I harvested is that little white speck. So it's really easy to harvest the mushrooms off of here. Uh, for re-inoculation or testing or I any purpose uh, that you may have. So these are oyster mushrooms that are inoculated. I'd pick this one too, but it was growing up against this branch. And I'm going to let that uh, stay there so then it can inoculate this old wood um, and so forth. Anyways, um, this green cover crop coming up is actually ryegrass. And ryegrass gets up to six feet high. It's a uh, native it's um, it's also a great mulch. Um, it's a great cover crop. So it's a very beneficial seed that I put in here. And since it's going to get so high, it's going to turn this into a lush green vegetation uh, during the drought. So then the mycelium will live on. Um, anyways, let, let me give you a quick rundown of what exactly is going on here. So these myco filters are... <clears throat> are set up uh, very simply. They have four ingredients. The first ingredient is the burlap sacks, uh, which come free from coffee shops. The second ingredient is wood chips, and the wood chips act as food for the mycelium. So if you see these wood chips, these came here off the property, and if you see the white, that's, that means that uh, this, this wood has already been inoculated, as in the mushroom uh, culture has already broken into it, and, uh, and it's going to continue spreading. This is like a seed of mycelium right here. So what I can do is like, you know, just an example, sorry to cover up the lens, is that I can just bury it and tuck it in because all mushroom mycelium needs is two things, water, which we have here, and lack of sunlight, which we have here. <clears throat> there is a little bit of sunlight, but you know, that's while they're in the sacks until all the ryegrass takes over. So uh, to continue with the ingredients, we have the burlap sacks, the wood chips, and then we inoculate it with oyster mushroom mycelium, and then I planted it with the ryegrass cover crop. So that's all there is. What I did is I took a sack, filled it up about a little bit more than halfway with wood chips, so about two thirds, and then inoculated it with two bricks of uh, mushroom mycelium, which are able to uh, purchase um, from South Austin Mushroom. And then uh, I put two handfuls of ryegrass cover crop. And uh, that's about it. So just to show you guys the kind of setup that uh, I have going on, uh, once I got those sacks, I put them in the flat parts of, uh, of the runoff and staked them in. So I have multiple stakes holding these sacks so then they don't wash away. Uh, same with those down there. I've got the stakes on the edges. And I just folded it over, folded the lip of the sack, and staked it in. <clears throat> and the reason I put it in the flatter parts is so then the, the water would run slower in a sheet. Um, for example, right here, where it runs very, uh, very flat and thin. And the reason for that is so then the water goes slowly through the mycelium, so then it has more of a chance to come in contact with the uh, uh, organisms. Anyways, um, to show you the setup, this is the uh, storage facility, and all the runoff from this facility enters this catchment tank. And this catchment tank, uh, thankfully, it lets the water seep out slowly. And like I was saying earlier, <clears throat> the slower that the water goes, the better. And that's simply for surface area's sake. Uh, I'm sure that there's other benefits for it too, but that's one of the main ones. So the thin sheet of water trickles down through two stages of mycofiltration before it re-enters Bolden Creek. And if you look down at the creek, the water is uh, very murky, and it gets much murkier than that. And uh, I'm just very excited because we're seeing the first growth come up on both the mushrooms and the ryegrass. So, 
um, a couple experiments with this design is to uh, take some of the water that's coming out of the tube in the runoff or before it hits the sack, such as the water that's trickling down right here, to test that for uh, contaminants and pollutants, and then do the same and test another sample of water that comes out after the uh, two series of microfiltration. And as you see here, the sack 